This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. The first unit in your syllabus basic structure of chemistry. First of all, I want to explain you the uh, what is meant by chemistry, what is the definition of chemistry. Okay, I will give you the definition of chemistry. Chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformation okay chemistry is the science of molecule and their transformation i will write here mm. chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformation okay so here uh, in this basic structure of chemistry what do you mean by chemistry first question chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformation okay so another definition of chemistry is chemistry see here chemistry deals with the composition structure and properties of matter okay so these aspects can be best described and understood in terms of basic constituents of matter the basic constituents of matter means atoms and molecules are the basic constituent of matter please note down what is chemistry chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformation and chemistry deals with the composition structure and properties of matter this can be best described and understood in terms of basic constituents of matter atoms and molecules okay so i will explain you what is meant by matter in the in the later i will explain you what is meant by matter okay this is about the what is chemistry okay this is the definition of chemistry then i will explain you about importance of study of chemistry please note down the topic importance of study of chemistry okay uh, why we have to study the chemistry and what are the importance of study of chemistry i will explain it okay the study of first point you should remember the study of chemistry is so wide and diversified so wide and and diversified means uh, how this uh, um, can be proved i will explain you okay so how we, this can be proved means uh, you know the branches of science branches of science uh, which is divided into physics chemistry correct physics chemistry and biology these branches these all are interconnected with each other okay physics chemistry biology these all are interconnected with each other here i am concentrating on chemistry okay how this chemistry uh, is so wide and diversified this is very important okay uh, this is first you come the, uh, the means uh, you should prove this uh, uh, so this point so wide and diversified okay science branches divided like physics chemistry and biology again come come uh, again chemistry is also divided into uh, chemistry is divided into inorganic chemistry organic chemistry biochemistry and uh, biochemistry and physical chemistry okay and etc again it is uh, so wide uh, it is divided like this uh, organic chemistry organic chemistry inorganic chemistry 
बायो केमिस्ट्री एंड लास्ट वन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री ओके सो दिस सो फर्स्ट यू शुड नो दैट व्हाट इज मीन बाय केमिस्ट्री ओके एंड साइंस इज डिवाइडेड लाइक दिस केमिस्ट्री इज डिवाइडेड लाइक दिस सो uh okay not only the four branches which is having uh, many more branches that is why it is called as so wide and which is diversified so this is the first point you should remember then i will explain you second point okay mm -hmm. what is second point second point is chemistry plays a very important role in our daily life which plays very important role in our which plays a very important role in our daily life so uh, for this you should uh, this is the second point and you have to give the explanation for this second point okay study of chemistry which is a, a very important role in our daily life chemistry plays a very important role in our daily life uh, so if you want to explain this point uh, just you should remember uh, ju just you should remember that uh, how the chemicals uh, how we are using chemicals in our daily life so uh, before going to explain you about uh, do you having any idea about uh, uh chemi chemistry how it plays very important role in our daily life okay fine so i will explain you okay the chemical industries uh, manufacturing what chemical industries manufacturing do you know chemical industries chemical industries manufacturing world chemical industries are manufacturing uh, fertilizers acids alkalis then last one soaps it is also manufacturing uh, many more uh, items but this is the very important role which plays very important role in our daily life the good example is soap okay we are using soaps in our daily life so this is the very good example for us so uh, okay i think so you have understood what i am explaining you uh, the first topic is uh, it is the first point is which is so wide and diversified how you have to explain the science and chemistry science branches chemistry branches so so that uh, these are the branches so that we should study the chemistry and what is there in that we should we should okay study the chemistry and the next is a very important role in our daily life means chemical industries manufacturing these fertilizers acids alkalis and the soaps so our daily life uh, the very good example for our uh, daily life is soaps which is which is the very good example for this so this is about important study of chemistry okay then later on i will then i will explain you uh, nature of matter okay the next point is nature of next topic is nature of matter i um, just as i said now uh, i will explain you uh, just as i said now i will explain you the uh, definition of matter correct so in that uh, in that uh, the matter is divided like this uh, based on physical state of matter and based on chemical characteristics of matter which is divided on based on physical state solid liquid and gas based on the chemical characteristics elements compound and mixture then again mixture is divided into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture okay so next uh, i will explain you in detail about this first please note the note it down the definition uh, of matter okay uh, please note down the definition for matter 
so my any uh, anything that has a mass and occupies a space is called matter and which is made up of particles anything that has a mass and occupies a space that is called called matter these are made up of particles matter is made up of matter is made up of particles so please note down this definition again matter as i said the matter is hmm. so this is the matter matter is divided based on the physical characteristics now i will explain you based on physical characteristics which is divided into sorry which is divided into solid liquid and gas so uh, solid uh, just by giving the definition you may not understand what i am explaining you consider this as a container in that uh, consider the solid particles how they are arranged okay consider this is the liquid and uh, how they are arranged in the gas how they are arranged okay so this is about solid liquid and gas here uh, just by observing this uh you may uh, come across the idea that uh, here solid particles are very close to each other liquid particles are not that much close okay and uh, gas particles are freely moving so, so this is about the solid particles they are having a definite uh, volume and a definite shape okay and the intermolecular attractive force whatever that intermolecular attractive force okay so please uh, it is uh, noted down this is a intermolecular attractive force so here solid which is having a definite volume and definite shape and intermolecular attractive forces in between them is very high for the solid giving the example means ice this is the example of solid uh, okay and comparing to this uh, again come to the liquid part liquid part here they are having a definite volume but not a definite shape so i think this can be proved like this is the container okay so in that this is called a square container if you consider so here whatever if you are pour this liquid into this so this will be in a square form okay so this is the consider water is poured into this round shape container so it will uh, gains the shape of the container so th so that this is not having a definite shape so liquid example for the liquid is can you please tell me the example for the liquid okay the good, very good example of liquid is water okay next come to the gas so the gases they neither having a definite volume nor having a definite shape okay so because they are very freely moving and intermolecular attractive forces in between them is uh, not that much high as comparing to that of the liquid and the solid so uh, not neither having a definite volume nor having a definite shape example for the gases air okay so this is about the solid liquid and gas in only one in this picture you can uh, read the what do you mean by matter so this is the definition for matter okay and uh, matter is divided based on the physical characteristics solid uh, which is uh, based on the physical characteristics see solid liquid and gas okay so the example for this solid is ice and example for liquid is water for the gas is air like this 
this is about the based on the physical characteristics okay then uh, before uh, next uh, i will explain you based on the chemical characteristics so this is about uh, uh, solid how the particles are arranged this is the liquid how they are arranged and gas so this is the one glance so um, by that uh, definition and uh, example you may observe that here solid particles having a definite volume and definite shape liquid particles they are not having they are having a definite volume not having a definite shape and the, they are very close to each other particles because of intermolecular attractive forces in solid here not like that and here they are very freely moving and not having a definite volume no, neither having definite volume nor having definite shape these are the liquid solid water that gas particles okay 